Hi, I'm Jeff Julian. I'm a concept artist talking about storytelling here at Circus 2012. Um, some of the themes, just the similarities between you know the advertising industry, the internet, what's going on, this kind of mobilization of the business, and how creativity really plays a big part. That it's as much as it's kind of thought of as a dissimilar, disconnected things. That it really is the same process, We're all kind of working towards the same end, just through different means. So, really, how does maybe kind of the thought process go to kind of attacking creative problems and, and solving? challenges that both industries are having and how to connect with their consumers or their members, if you will. You know, when you've got big budgets, sometimes you don't have to think through problems up front and then they become big problems at the end where I think if you've got a minimal budget that sometimes, you know, you really have to focus and you have to be smart. You know, I always say you, you can pick two, you either have to be quick, cheap or fast, you know, uh, and which one are you going to pick? And so if you don't have the budgets, you've just got to be clever. So I think in a lot of ways you get better work sometimes when you don't have the big budgets. I think there's just an emergence of where the customer is actually, the, you know, the end user, the one who's actually receiving the, the content that's being generated is really kind of coming to a single space of where they want to spend their time. And whether that's going to a movie or being on a face, Facebook or on video games, how, how do those things, you know, they can learn from each other. And things that one industry does really well that another one doesn't do so well, I think they really need to stop recycling internal thoughts and start looking at what other people can do and what other people bring to the table. You know, the issue of creativity is really strange to me because, you know, people who don't value it as much, I find that bizarre. It's like, show me one thing in your life that someone who was creative didn't do. Whether it's your clothes, your haircut, the tools used to do, the, whatever it is, some person that's creative by nature has created this world, whether it's writing code. <clears throat> so I find it really interesting when creative gets put to the side as an, an almost a, a topping, if you will, you know, it's a, it's a sprinkling of chocolate chips on a cake when really, you know, it's the flour and the yeast that made the cake rise. So I think what you're going to see over the next couple of years is a real shift in the creative industries really starting to come up. And just like we were talking about brands, that you're starting to see personal brands and people starting to be able to follow individuals that don't have big budgets. So you're going to start seeing designers and creative people that start getting their own followings. And when you th see things like Kickstarter and a few other companies that are allowing you to fund those projects, and then you have technologies like rapid prototyping, things like that. I think what you're going to see is the big companies are really going to have a run for their money. Because some creative kid that's 12 year olds in China is going to outmake the next Mac. You know, he's going to do a better job from his backyard. I think, I think it's very easy, you know, you get into, not a, not a rut, because I think people are pretty good about challenging themselves and trying to stay fresh as a conscious thing. Especially in this industry, people are, I think, very aware that they need that. But I think, um, you know, being able to mix with your peers and also being able to mix with other people, you know, like I've been able to meet some people that are architects that are here today that have nothing to do with the advertising agency. And it's, it's fantastic because they're talking about things that I didn't even discuss and we can have an interesting conversation. So I think anytime you can bring clever people together in a positive environment, you're going to get a good result.